Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Merrill Kane with the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. In about seven days, we're going to be on a very, very active part of the racing circuit. You're standing on our Blue Cross Blue Shield pit lane. Unique in motorsports, never had a two-sided pit lane before. Bud Denker, our chairman, will talk a little bit about that, but we're very excited to bring racing back downtown to the streets of downtown Detroit for the first time since 1991. We're a week away. We couldn't be more excited, and we're happy to provide an event update here today along with some special announcements. we got some great guests that are lined up for us here today. wanted to make sure all the media members know that all of our guests will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews after today's formal comments. Uh, for those of you who uh, walked in, hopefully you got a media kit that's got all of our information on it for the Grand Prix. Uh, if you didn't, Edward Williams in the back here has some uh, extra ones uh, towards the back, so feel free to uh, tap Edward on the shoulder. I uh, also want to make sure everyone knows, uh, obviously with uh, the construction started here, the built out of the race circuit, a lot of uh, interest in traffic patterns and road closures and so forth. Uh, we encourage everyone to go on our website, DetroitGP.com. You can register there to get daily updates on the build out and traffic patterns uh, around downtown. Best way to stay informed and stay ahead of the curve. So again, we include everyone and encourage everyone to go to DetroitGP.com and get the updates on the latest for the traffic build out. But in seven days, we'll be right back here getting ready to launch a racing on the streets of downtown Detroit. City's going to be a buzz. You can feel the excitement building. Beautiful backdrop behind us with the GM Renaissance Center. Six races over the course of three days, June 2nd through the 4th. And we couldn't be more excited to bring this to downtown Detroit. The gentleman who has been in charge of this and his idea to bring it back downtown after many years on Belle Isle and uh, return it to its original home here on the streets of Detroit uh, is going to join us now at the podium. Please help me welcome the chairman of the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, presented by Lear, Mr. Bud Denker. Great. Thank you, Merrill. And um, it is so exciting to be here because if you think about a year ago, uh, Council President Sheffield and I sat out here in the, in the speech, straightaway, didn't we, and thought about this vision and thought about this idea, and now it's come to reality. Uh, look behind us. Look around us. Uh, you can hear the sounds of production. We're, we're paving. We're paving parking lots still. Uh, it's amazing the, the, what's happened here over the last really 18 months since I had the idea that I talked to the mayor about it. Joe Mears, if you remember Joe Mears at a lunch hour and shared this idea that Michael Montry and, and I had uh, just 18 months ago. So we couldn't be more excited. As the mayor said, eight days from now, you're going to be hearing world-class racing back on the streets of the Motor City. It's been 32 years since racing has occurred in our downtown. And think about this. There's 15 cities in the world, in the world, that have this opportunity, and we are one of them. Imagine the sights of watching cars go down at over 185, 190 mile an hour in Jefferson Avenue to the Lodge Freeway making a, making a U-turn. Imagine what they're going to look like at 155 miles an hour down our riverfront with helicopters chasing them and boats anchored in the water out here be part of the race. Imagine the fact that we're going to have half the circuit open for free, for free to all of our districts, all of the public, to allow them to come down here and enjoy this event. Those, in my mind, defines the word inclusiveness. Belle Isle, in my mind, was great. It was exclusive. Coming back down to Detroit is inclusive, and we're going to show a lot of examples about that in our playbook that Letty Azar and our team, our team has developed. So I'm so excited to be here, so excited to show off this amazing chalets. This pit lane we're in right now, it's never been done before to have a race where some cars are going to pit over there and some cars are going to pit to my, to my left. And by the way, behind you, they're going to merge in 150 feet from six lanes to one lane. That'll be a spectacle in itself. Trust us, it's going to work. I uh, haven't done it before, but it's going to work. So this is all brand new pavement for the Blue Cross Blue Shield parking lot. These amazing chalets, they're going to have some 5,000 guests here. Our, our, our grandstands that are all around the city to have our, our spectators there also. But what I'm most proud of is people can come down here for free and enjoy this great event. I'm not sure if I have 100,000 people, 200,000 people. Who knows? But we're going to be prepared to handle all those people and show them an, an amazing, amazing time. So as Merrill said, if there's any questions regarding traffic patterns or coming down on where to park, go to DetroitGP.com. That'll take you to right to the places you want to be. Park at Comerica, park at Huntington Place, park all around the city. Use the queue line, use the people mover, come down and enjoy this great event here just eight days away. 
You know, one of the key partners in this, besides Council President Sheffield and our, our, our Governor Whitmer, was, uh, was Mayor Duggan. And I brought him this great PowerPoint to show him the idea we had, Michael and I had, to make this thing happen. And he flipped through one or two pages. He says, I don't need this. We need this event. I'm in. Let's go. So let me introduce our great mayor, if you would. Please welcome Mayor Mike Duggan. Mike. Well, I am really pleased for the first time in 32 years, the Grand Prix is returning to the streets of downtown Detroit. Imagine these cars coming out of a hairpin turn in professional racers coming down Jefferson at upwards of 180 miles an hour. Uh, and Bud's right, when he brought me this presentation, he says, we want to talk to you about bringing the Grand Prix from Belle Isle to downtown. He didn't have to open the book. I said, what took you so long? I worked down here in the 80s when the Grand Prix was here. It was fabulous. The streets were filled. Businesses benefited. People could watch out of buildings. Uh, and I never felt, once it moved to Belle Isle, it was ever as connected with the city. But I love everything uh, that Roger Penske and Bud Denker have done. Uh, Friday, it is free pre-day with the sponsorship of Comerica Bank, which means everything is free. You can come down on Friday, sit in the grandstands, watch the preliminary heats and see these cars. Uh, the entertainment all weekend long at Hart Plaza is, is free. Saturday and Sunday, Cadillac Square is turning into small business straight away. 29 small businesses from every corner of this city are setting up on Cadillac to benefit from this. Uh, this is what an event should be like. It should not be driving, go to the event and drive home. It, you should be supporting the local businesses and seeing what we have uh, in the city of Detroit. And so uh, it's going to be, I think, a remarkable three days. Uh, what is involved in this? in street permits, uh, ordinances, changes and the like is incredibly complicated. And when this got to city council, council president Mary Sheffield took the leadership role and got the Grand Prix through our internal bureaucracy and approvals in record time. She's been a great champion uh, of this event coming back. And so with that, I wanna welcome my partner, council president Mary Sheffield. All right, good morning, everyone. It is such an honor to be here. I am pumped up, I am excited, I am elated that we are days away from this historic event, 32 years to finally have the Grand Prix right where it belongs, and that is in the streets of our city. I just wanna encourage everyone in the city of Detroit from every neighborhood, every sector, every zip code to come out and enjoy this amazing event. Uh, this team, uh, the Grand Prix, I want to give a shout out to Miss Letty, who's over there in the back, uh, who has worked diligently to ensure that the community has a voice throughout this process. They have been included throughout the planning process, and I just have to commend her because we recently just had a community meeting, and everyone who showed up was just so excited and engaged and really aware uh, of what is taking place. And so they have done a tremendous job of not only hosting this in Detroit, but making sure that the community feels a part uh, of this event. Uh, about two weeks ago, I was here when we unveiled some murals that are gonna be along the track. And that was all done by local Detroit artists. And so not only do we have this amazing event happening in our city, but there was a sense of pride from so many of our young people who felt a part of the races as well. So I could not be more proud as a Detroiter to have this back in the streets of Detroit. I wanna encourage our young people to come out, to be safe, to have fun. Uh, do not be discouraged. I know there's gonna be a lot of traffic and parking issues downtown, but to be, just to be patient, uh, give us some grace. This is the first time in 32 years that we're hosting this event. But with the cooperation of su numerous departments and agencies, I know this is going to be a fun field weekend for everyone to enjoy. So thank you all to, uh, who played a role in making this a reality. But thank you for making sure you stay true to your words. And that is making this event inclusive for Detroiters. Let's celebrate in a fun and safe way. And I'm so excited to bring this back to the streets of Detroit. 
And with that being said, I know that our chief is going to have a lot on his hands uh, as we unroll this event. And I want to bring up now uh, the chief of our uh, police department, Chief White. Good morning. Good morning. So let me say this. I sit in a lot of strategy meetings, but never have I sat in strategy meetings where the participants are excited like they have been for this event. The Michigan State Police, our federal partners, our crime intelligence units, we have strategized on parking. We have strategized on keeping all of our communities safe, those who live, work, and visit this event. And we are just super excited. 32 years, and I'm old enough to remember how much fun it was 32 years ago, and I'm so excited to see that many of those things for our Detroiters, for our residents are back in place. The free pre-day is going to be spectacular, letting all of our residents, all of our visitors come down, enjoy the event, and certainly be safe. And that's what we've been focused on, our traffic pattern plan, our undercover officers, don't say much about that, uh, and everything else from our towers to our crime intelligence. But I cannot thank our partners enough our federal partners, Wayne County Sheriff's Department, uh, the Michigan State Police, uh, all of that just to keep all of us safe and also have a good time themselves. And you're going to see a lot of our mounted officers down here. Those are the horses. Uh, so don't, you know, that, they're just so welcome uh, with the community. And, and we're going to have a lot of them out here as well as officers on foot while not taking anything away from our neighborhood patrols. So that's the other part that makes, makes this event very, very uh, happy for us is that we're not taking anything away from, from the neighborhood. So come down, enjoy, have a great time, have fun. I'll be here the whole weekend, and we're going to have a really, really good time. So thank you. Thank you, Chief White. We appreciate all your support and uh, making us feel safe down here. It's going to be a great weekend. We know that it's uh, you guys are on top of it. you got a great game plan, and we appreciate that. And you know, one other thing that we were thinking about, you know, we're all about making sure that we obey all the traffic laws and we follow everything to the letter of the law, but our drivers like to go a little fast. <laughs> Speed is kind of a, an important thing in the racing game, so I know that there's uh, something special that you wanted to go the extra mile for our drivers and, and make sure that they're following the, 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 the letters of the law for the weekend. So can we bring you back up and I think you've got a little bit of a special proclamation. So, just for the race weekend, <laughs> let me repeat, just for the race weekend and only the race cars on the track, we have decided that we're going to raise the speed limit for the race cars on the track for that weekend only to 200 miles an hour.